guys, welcome to the adventures. Today we're gonna to talk about setting your tandems and your fifth wheel and the whys and making sure you're compliant with federal law. If you don't know us, we're Simple Living, husband and wife, team truck drivers, and we like to make life on the road a little bit more simple and feel a little bit more like home. We're best known for making our semi into a micro tiny house. Into setting our tandems and the whys, the rules and things like that. So you guys know that it is regulated on the weight. So you'd want to move your tandems and your fifth wheels to help regulate that weight. You're going to have 34,000 pounds on tandem axle. So we have 34,000 pounds back here, 34,000 pounds at the front. And then if you have your sear tires, you can have 12,000 pounds there. So that's going to equal your gross combination weight. So depending on how they load the inside of your trailer is going to depend on if you need to shift that. And so instead of reworking the inside of your trailer, you can just slide the tandems on the rail and adjust the weight given that way. You can also slide the fifth wheel into the same and get a more accurate weight without having to have the entire trailer reworked, which is a pain in the butt. And a lot of companies do not like to do that for you and they can load you overweight. So move these and it will help. Another reason that you're gonna want it to make sure that they're adjusted properly, make sure you know federal and state guidelines for that. California, as an example, has to be set at 40 feet. What does that look like? So most trailers do have this mark right here and that's gonna be the center of the hub. So center of right here on the rear hub and 40 feet. So this can be slid a little bit further, but they require that it cannot be set back further than the 40 feet. So make sure you know those rules and things like that. If you are in cities and um, tight areas, loading docks, truck stops, things like that, that you're trying to get into, the 40 foot does create a lot of tail whip. Tail whip is not a good thing. If you guys have ever seen a trailer pulling out of a spot and they swipe the truck next to them, it's because they have way too much tail whip. I prefer having it closer to the 41 foot or a little bit further back. I like it. When you set it, you see the middle of the rail. I like to have it a little bit further so there's not a lot of tail whip. It allows you to still make turns uh, without having it drag on for a country mile and it being it does not allow you to have too much tail whip where you're gonna hit something behind you. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and get into moving them. This one is pretty simple. So there are different styles of tandems that you can move. This one is a push button system and there's also the old fashioned grab handle. I'll show you what both of those look like. So you're gonna go ahead and pull that lever out right there. All right, that releases the pin. You wanna leave your trailer brake set and just push the tractor brakes. And then sometimes you do have to rock the um, trailer just a little bit forward and backward to release that knob. So now we went ahead, slid them, and we are just going to push the button back in and then lock them back in place. I got in the truck, I released the tractor brakes, left the trailer brake set, and then just backed forward and reverse and, and forward to make sure that that is locked in place. Give it a good couple tugs before you go ahead and hit the road. Fifth wheel, it's a lot easier, similar process. There is a rail that is gonna slide and just on, except you just jump in the truck, push the button and uh, then pull it forward and then it's gonna set it and then push the button in place. So it's best to do that when you have a scale available to you. That way you can see if you are sliding the weight where the weight needs to be and you can check it after adjusting those. A lot of the time, so you do not need to adjust your fifth wheel. You can just leave it set in place. And then once it's set in a good, unless you have a weight problem, just set it, forget it, and keep on moving. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the adventures. <laughs>